Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sonia, also known as SG from Let the Ladies Speak podcast, where we have healthy discussions about life, love, dating, and relationships while promoting self-love and healing. I also promote healthy dating. Tonight, I wanna to talk about Miss Aisha from Ready to Love season four or five, uh, the DC cast. Miss Aisha understands the assignment she understands how to date and i want to talk about what we can learn from her and what she is doing right first and foremost if you are new to my channel welcome if you like the content go ahead and subscribe comment below and leave me a thumbs up if you are returning welcome back i appreciate you for returning if you are a new subscriber welcome to the family i appreciate you being here i understand you could be anywhere else but here and you're here consuming my content and i appreciate you for it okay so let's talk about miss aisha i will be the first to admit that i misjudged her i judged her based on her the clip they did for the promo for the show where she was jumping out the chair and saying there's no hater in her and she had this dress on and i was like one of the little cousins are gonna pop out girl what are you doing and i was wrong so i'm gonna apologize about that you know i really did i misjudged her completely um i actually really like aisha and i really feel like she out of all of the women from all of the episodes and seasons of ready to love as far as I'm concerned, dates the best. For me so far, she has done a great job of dating and handling herself in this environment. So I just kind of want to talk about what I've noticed and some takeaways and what we can learn from her. First and foremost, if you know my channel, I'm an advocate for therapy, mental health. I feel like you can't have a healthy relationship with anyone else until you have a healthy relationship with yourself. And the number one thing that Aisha did is she took care of herself. After her divorce, Miss Aisha is 38 um, and she has two children and she divorced three years ago. But after her divorce, she got her and her children therapy. And I think that is awesome because it shows it's responsible, right? And it shows that she really, really wants to be the best version of herself. She cares about the mental health and stability of herself and her children. And she also stated she didn't want to take any of that negative baggage into her new relationship, which is extremely responsible. It just speaks a lot about her as a person. And when she talks about the fact that she's done this work on herself, she's so happy. You know, it's like, she's just like, I'm proud of myself. And I love that because self-love is the best love. Okay. You got to love yourself in order to properly pour into and love other people and allow people to love you. A lot of times people don't understand that. Sometimes you won't let people love you because you don't feel like you deserve love. She is in a place where she can give and receive in a healthy manner. And I love it. I love to see it. Also, the fact that she's done the work shows up because she's very confident. She con She's confident in who she is. Aisha is sexy. Aisha is um, self-aware. When she walks in, she's not proving herself to anyone. She's simply showing up as herself, which is that's how you want to do it. You want your power of the your, your energy and your femininity to show up. You don't want to show up convincing people to like you, convincing people to validate and affirm you. No, that's done. She affirms herself. She validates herself. She's just like, look at me. You like it or no? <laughs> If not, she moves on. Like she's not selling herself. And I always say on my podcast and on my YouTube channel, ladies, you don't have to sell yourself. The power of you is more than enough. And Aisha proves that. So I love that. And like I said, she's feminine. It just in her mannerisms and how she carries herself. Sometimes the Brooklyn will come out, but you know, you are, you are from where you're from. That just makes her human. But when she is in the presence of the men, she's very feminine. She isn't docile. She engages them, you know, she smiles and she smiles with her whole face. You know, she isn't defensive. She isn't bitter. She isn't angry. She doesn't down talk her ex. She 
does what you should do you should never talk about your ex you just say it didn't work out and she says it didn't work out you know she's not again she's not seeking understanding or validation she doesn't want you to feel sorry for her she's in a good place with herself and all of that shows up in how she interacts with the men so she's definitely she's done her work she's a womanly woman she's feminine she's confident and she's fun to be around the other thing that Aisha does well is she socialized well. She comes off as a very genuine person, very vulnerable. She has great conversation. She has a sense of humor. You know, the guys really enjoy taking care of her, protecting her, but also, you know, allowing her to be her. No one is kind of smothering Aisha but they see her for what she is. They give her that respect and she in turn respect the men of the show. She does that well. She isn't judgmental. She allows grace. She hasn't been rude, nasty, or disrespectful to anyone, right? When Lamont was giving his uh, spoken word about penises and things of this sort, she could have been rude to him and dismissive, but she wasn't. She extended him some grace like a lady should. And she said, you know what? We're just gonna go find you some food. Like this conversation is over, but thank you, goodbye. <laughs> but she wasn't mean about it. She wasn't dismissive and she wasn't rude, but he picked the, he, he got the picture, but you don't have to be nasty. A lady isn't nasty and she carries herself like a lady in those kind of incidents. Again, she's authentic and she's genuine and she can have a conversation with anyone about anything. And I like that as well. Also, she knows what she wants. Ladies, you gotta know what you want. When you date in confusion, you allow confusion. Don't date in confusion. She knows exactly what she wants. She's intentional about the people that she spends time with. She asks great questions. And the question she's asking is to determine if you're a good fit. She knows what she wants. So uh, she asks questions accordingly, right? She's seeking the information. She's using dating right. She's determining if you're right for her and if you will be good fit for her and her children. But she is also determining if she is right for you. She doesn't want any children. She enjoyed her date with Sean. She's like, yeah, he checked all the boxes, but he doesn't want children, right? She's not trying to force the issues. She's not changing her mind and going back and reneging on her non-negotiables and saying, well, maybe we can see. No, because she knows what she wants and she's going to move on. But again, she leaves with grace. She's assessing everyone to see who's a good fit for her, which again is how you date, especially when you're dating multiple men. I believe in dating multiple men. I don't look at dating as a relationship. Dating is not a relationship. Dating is a social experiment. It's a time to figure out who are these people? Who am I as a person? Because you learn a lot about yourself and determining whether or not you and someone else mesh. People oftentimes try to make people be who they want them to be based on how they look or their finances, you know, or they're the first one that comes along, which again speaks to how healthy she is because she is able and allows the individual men to be who they are. She's never tried to change anyone, tell anyone what they needed to do. She's just simply determining we don't work or maybe there's potential and I love it. She's doing a great job. And you know, she really takes the time to get to know them. When Aisha's on her date, she's very engaging. She asks questions, but it isn't an interview. So she's gathering her knowledge. She's getting her knowledge, but it's not an interview. And again, she allows them to be who they are, which is very important. You want to see that person. You want to know who you're getting yourself involved with if you choose to move further or, you know, go further in a relationship. Again, she's not trying to fit a square peg into a round hole. She knows exactly what she's looking for. And when she's dating these men, it's a unique experience for each and every one of them. Everyone doesn't get the same version, the same access and the same information from Aisha. There's a few things that she says, you know, she tries to find out where you are, like how she asked Keratin about his last relationship and things like that. You know, same with Sean, she, she hones in on what's important, but she also makes the dates very unique. How she shows up is unique, how she interacts. You know, it is truly their interaction, it's truly their, their date. This isn't a copy and paste and it's the same for everyone. 
Um, she still gathers her information, but she knows how to ask questions differently and engage differently according to who that person is. And I just want to speak to this as well. She is extremely confident and Aisha never, ever, ever, ever talks bad about the other ladies. She's not competing with the other ladies. She doesn't concern herself with the other ladies. When you, um, when the new young lady joined the cast, Aisha wasn't worried about it. She never worries about anyone else. You know, uh, she just said, well, we'll see how good, how strong our connections are and continue to eat her chicken. <laughs> like She's like, I'm not worried. I'm not concerned because she knows who she is and she knows her value. You have to know the value of you. You have to know the power of your femininity. You have to know what value you bring into someone else's life. You know, you just have to be very much self-aware, self-confident and strong in who you are. You can't change people. You can't make anyone be who you want them to be. And I think she understands that. So she doesn't stress herself, you know, but she knows that because she's dealt with self, she's gotten to know herself very well. And that changes the game. So I hope you enjoyed this content. Please let me know. What do you think? Do you think Aisha is doing the dating game right? Do you enjoy watching her on camera? Do you have any questions or concerns for me? please let me know. Leave a comment below, subscribe to my channel, and please check out my podcast on all podcast platforms. My last episode, I discussed boundaries and the importance of boundaries. So check that out if you're interested. Have a wonderful, wonderful evening, and please do not forget to love you for who you are. Have a great night. Take care. Bye-bye.